Today, for your business to grow, one of the most up-and-coming things to use is social media. This is a way for you to connect with people who are potential clients, and you kind of get to put into their head what you want them to learn. The best part about the social media is you are in complete control. You control what they see, who you connect with, etc. It's literally in the palm of your hand what is up for you to do with this. So to explain a little bit more about a social media that we really use, we're going to talk a little bit today about Pinterest. We're going to start by going to the home page on the Pinterest website. And through here you can see at the top right corner, I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to show you your boards. So you can access this by clicking. And once you do this, it's going to direct you to a browser of your home page that has all your information on it, and you can include your bio on it. We, we also add our contact information, like our phone number and our website, so it's easy for people to know who we are, how to contact us, and where we are. So you can see there's a lot of boards on here. Um, I try to organize them by categories and easy keywords that will be great in searches for people to be able to find me easier. If you also go back up to the right corner, we're going to go down and we're going to go to your pins. And these are simply all of the information or pins that you posted onto all of your boards. So they basically combine them all into one. It's easy access for all of them in one place. Um, right next to that is the likes. Um, these are all the things that you have not necessarily repinned, but you are interested in. You saw other people that you follow like them. They also have find friends on the right hand corner pull down screen a help center and settings we're gonna go ahead and click on that and in the settings is your email address your account information you can change all your information here you can make sure that your emails you're getting the right notifications that you want so you're not getting too many or too little you can also connect to your social media sites through here um, this is really good so people can see that you're you know all the social media sites and you're making them verse versatile. So let's go ahead and click on the Pinterest in the top center. This directs you to all the pins that your friends have created. So for instance, if I have a friend and they posted one of the images on here, it will come up on my browser and all their other friends' browsers. So now we're going to search something. I'm just going to show you how to do that. If you click on the top left icon we're gonna go down to design because we're a real estate company we want to post something that has something to do with us so right off the bat the first one in the left corner six ideas for social media sites that's exactly what we're learning right now so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click pin it I am going to you can change the description if you want but I'm okay with it so I'm gonna leave it and then I'm going to search for my board. You want to make sure that you're putting it into a category that you think fits it best. There are multiple categories, but just do the one that makes you fit, feel that fits it best. You don't want people to be too overwhelmed with you posting multiple images into multiple things. So if people like your pins in one of them, they can follow you or they can follow other boards that they find similar. So we're going to go ahead and post this in real estate news. And now as you can see, it popped up on my home screen browser. Um, there's still, I can still search, I can still find other images and postings I like in the design category. But right now I'm going to go up to the right hand screen and I'm going to click my boards. And I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and find the real estate news and just show you that it does pop up in there. It will become the first image or link that's right there. So it's easy access for me and also for my followers. So as you can see, all the information in this board is also all the same. So you can see that I did put it in the right category. It has other business resources. Now we're going to discuss creating a board on Pinterest. So we're on the home screen right now. 
And to do this, we're going to go up to the top right corner and we're going to click a little plus next to our name. And on this plus, this is the add button, we're going to create a board. We're going to click on that. And this will redirect us to the information we need to input to create a board. So for example, right now I'm writing a blog article for our website about um, color and the reasons why it affects your emotions. So I'm going to do color psychology and I am going to put in the description just a little bit of information about what I want to find. So I'm going to use this for my research as well. So I'm going to talk about its effects on the behaviors, emotions, and moods of people. And I also, as I'm doing this, I'm also going to put in something about what colors affect what rims and what works and what rims best because we want to try to appeal to both people, both um, people who care about um, the, like the scientific part of it as well as like the design part. So we're going to go ahead and put this into the design category just because color and design kind of go well together. And as you can see, our board has been created now. So to go ahead and put some more information in pins in this, we can either search it by the categories or I can type in an information. So right now I'm going to type in color psychology and see what pops up. And wow, there's a lot of good information about color and where it works best in. So this pin looks really good, so I'm going to click pin it and I'm going to put it onto that board. I'm going to search the board for the one I just created. So I'm going to go down to the P's really quick. And I'm fine with the description. So I'm just going to click pin it. And it's that simple. It's created into my board. Now if you like other pins, like I like the one right next to it as well, I can go right back very easily and click pin it. It's still there. And I can click pin it. And there you have it. All of those are into my new board that I created, and it's helpful for my followers. Now that you know how to create a board, we're going to go ahead and teach you how to create a pin to a board. So we're going to go up to the top right corner with the plus again, and you're going to click Upload Pin. And this is when you have an image already on your computer. So I'm going to click choose file and I'm going to select a meme that I've already had created for me and I just want to add it to my website just for some humor. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And it uploads automatically very fast. So you can already see the images right there. I'm going to create a description, very simple, um, something about meme about wholesome homes. And this kind of just tells people what it is like and about. And I also always like to include um, our website so people will see, oh, they can connect Wholesome Homes. And if they're very interested in us or want to learn more, our website is right there, easy to access, and they're able to actually click on it once it's posted. I'm also going to change the board for this as well um, because this obviously doesn't fit it very well. So I'm going to go ahead and select Wholesome Homes, just a general category that is in all information about our company. And I'm going to go ahead and pin it. I'm going to click See It Now. And as you can see, it's up there. Easily to see, people can see. Our website is actually at the bottom of the image as well as at the bottom where the description is. And it's actually embedded into it so you can directly click on it. So as you can see, pinning is very easy and very effective. Whenever you have like a website and you want to directly create it onto Pinterest, there's a lot easier ways than clicking like the add button and making it more difficult. So for example, this is our Wholesome Homes website. I'm going to go back to Pinterest. And you could click the plus button and it's very complicated and you have to make sure you have the right link and type it all in yourself. But this is also a trick. You can go to Pinterest.com slash goodies. And if you scroll down to the bottom, there's actually a pin it button and you can drag it to your bookmark bar. And this allows you to click on this when you find a website you like and directly pin it to Pinterest. So now it's up there in my tab called Pin It. 
I'm going to go back to our website. And since I like it and I want to share it with people on Pinterest, I'm going to go up to the tab and click pin it. And right here, I choose the image that I want to be shown that they find from the website. And in this tab, it already has all the information based off of what I put into the website already. And I'm going to leave it in the Wholesome Homes category. And I'm also going to add an additional link to our website just to make sure. So I'm going to click pin it. I'm going to look at it right now. And when I click on this link, it will direct me directly to our website. So if people are interested, they just have to click on the picture and they're taken to our website to learn more about us and our services. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. You can follow us on Pinterest at Wholesome Homes. Or you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, or Instagram.